Hey, Mohammed and I are going to talk about this thing, which is the puck rake, which is a little thing that we've invented to help you make better espresso. All right, I have been to many coffee shops in my life. I don't think I've seen that. That's right. At many places. Right. So when people grind, what actually happens is mm -hmm. they make a little mountain out of their, their coffee grinds, right? right? And uh, this is my favorite when people tamp in midair. We call it a flyby <laughs> tamp, right? <clears throat> yeah. Don't want to do that. But what you generally will see is they take their mountain and then they like tap it like this or they right. fiddle like this. All sorts of stuff to try and get those coffee grounds to be flat. And right. the reason is when you squirt nine bar of pressure through mm. that, that's 140 pounds on every little inch. Yeah. And any little defect in that coffee puck mm. is gonna show up on the other end as squirting, as what's mm -hmm. called channeling. Okay. Yeah. So the single best way to make better espresso mm. is to somehow get those fluffy coffee grounds to be nice and even like a cloud. Yeah. Okay. That turns out to be super hard. So if you put coffee beans in and you start filling with your finger or a spoon, you're compressing things. I feel personally attacked. I do you, all of these things you're saying. Totally. Well, don't do it in front of me because <laughs> <clears throat> I will hurl. <laughs> all right. So um, I've been working on this problem for a long time and what I found out was, give me that. That looks really simple though. It is super simple, but in mm. its simplicity belies incredible complexity in R&D. Okay. All right. Because these Bend. Why do they bend? Because they are acupuncture needles and they are incredibly precise. These are actually 0.4 milliliters, not 0.35. We tested those, not okay. 0.6. Those were too thick. Uh, 0.4 milliliters. What does this thickness, okay. why does it and matter? And the reason it matters, and you're going to see it in a second, is mm. when I brush this through coffee grounds, you're mm. going to see the coffee grounds just move a little bit. Ah. And what we did is we tested and at 0.6 milliliter, millimeters mm. in thickness, mm. this started to shove the coffee grounds right. and actually create craters. Yeah. So okay? you don't want that. You just want to just... Just make it into a nice fluffy yeah. cloud. And what we found is at 0.3 millimeters, yeah. this just actually went right through it like nothing. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't okay. actually move anything. So 0 0.35, 0 0.40 were the only sizes that actually work. Now, wow. have to be really, really accurate. This thing's yeah. very light. It's mm. very simple in the end. Mm. Um, and we're gonna make some coffee pucks and I'll show you the technique. But what we call this is puck raking. There's another technique called WDT, Weiss Distribution Technique, which is Who's very Weiss? closely that related to this. Yeah, so it's actually John Weiss is okay. um, a computer science guy and a mm. coffee guy who developed a technique of basically breaking clumps up. So if you've got a coffee grinder that basically spits out rabbit poop, into mm. the porta filter, right? In terms yeah. of big clumps, mm. you gotta do something. Right. Because those clumps are gonna have air holes everywhere. And if yeah. you try to make coffee with that, it's a disaster. Right. So if you have a grinder that does that, you're gonna wanna go deep and mm. really move it around. Mm. Now, a lot of people on the internet use things like toothpicks mm. or I don't know, things I don't wanna even talk about, <laughs> <laughs> big stirring things. And yeah. if they actually look at their shots, they're, they're just making disasters. Mm. So pros, when they see people fluff yeah. around, faff about yeah. forever, they just start rolling their eyes because mm. well known that the more that you fiddle with that puck, the worse you make it. Right. You want to just do something good and quickly yeah. and move on. And okay. So puck raking is on the surface, WDT is deep. Now this tool will do both. So what's going to happen is we're going to get a little mountain of coffee grounds okay. out of this grinder. Yeah. And what we're going to do then is try and distribute it really gently so mm -hmm. it's level. Okay. Right. And then finally, we're going to do a gentle that, that one. That's what I tap, hear at the cafe. But a really gentle tap, not okay. a heavy one, and not right. Okay. That's bad. Yeah. Okay. Just a gentle tap, and then we're going to look and yeah. see whether we did a good job or not. Okay. Okay. And as you get better at that, your coffee is just going to get way better. And right. my understanding is that the machine tells you as well when you did not do a good job. Is yeah. that correct? You do not need to have the decent espresso machine to use this. Any right. espresso machine that you have the puck rake is gonna help you improve the quality. Okay. Now, we developed this thing, and the reason we know all these things about 0 0.6, 0 0.3, yeah. is because the machine is telling us faster flow rates, channeling, all this good stuff that, frankly, no one else knows. Okay. So that's one of the reasons we're able to develop all these fancy accessories, mm. because we've got visibility right. on the espresso yeah. that other people don't have. Right. We've got a superpower. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I what I'm going to do okay. here, this by the way is our funnel, which we're going to make another separate video about. Magnets on it? It has magnets on it. Oh, That's okay. right. Keep it away from your pacemaker. <laughs> All right. So we're okay. going to measure out 15 grams. So this is my routine. Doesn't have to be your routine, but I put the beans in like that. Okay. I put the funnel in. If you've got a different grinder, mm. do as you like. Okay. 
We are now watching the mountain grow. Now, the reason we've got a funnel on this mm -hmm. is that if you don't have a funnel, some of those coffee grounds are going to go this side. Yeah. And we have weighed 15 grams, so mm. we don't want to waste anything. Yeah. And as this camera right here can attest to, we can see some of the coffee has stuck to the side. And right. if that the, would have fallen, that would have sprayed all over. Yeah. It, it makes okay. a mess. Yeah. And you're also losing. That's right. So there is our mountain. I'm going to take the funnel off for a second, and you can see. There's a oh. bunch of issues there, right? Yeah. Our mountain is leaning this way. There's yeah. a big gap here. Yeah. Okay. Now, if I were to be a gross person and use my finger <laughs> to do that, that what is... would happen is actually I would create a compression on this end. So mm. it might look flat on top, mm. but it wouldn't be. Right. Another really common way to fix this is this tool that's like a, a screw top. You put it on and spin. Yeah. The problem is that thing has got a screw pattern, and as soon as you put it on, mm. it's making a compression in the shape of that. Ah. So it makes beautiful pucks that pass yeah. barista contests, yeah. but it does not make good coffee. And lots of studies show that. I am pretty sure some people will give you some stuff for that. <laughs> some grief. Yeah, okay. some grief. So here is the puck rake, and there's lots of different techniques. Yeah. But basically, what I want to do is I want to just push that over. I'm doing this way slower than I really would in mm. real life. Okay. So you're not going all the way to the end of the of the puck, right? But I just want to take that mountain top mm -hmm. and smooth it out. That's it. That is all I want to do. Now this is puck raking, mm. which is not the same thing as WDT. Mm. Now WDT is going to be going in deep. Oh, so that's what I was okay. asking. Okay. And stirring it around. Now, the advantage of WDT is by mm. going in deep, you are breaking up any clumps. Mm -hmm. But this is a really good grinder. And you mm. can see at the beginning, there mm. were no clumps. Right. So clumps are not really a problem for us. But mm. if you've got a grinder that isn't as good, yeah. you're going to have to worry about that. Hmm. Okay. And in terms of studies go, if you go into deep WDT and you do it well, yeah. it is slightly better than puck raking. Okay. okay. However, if you do it badly, you screw everything up. Why? So, well, a lot of people use tools that are a lot thicker. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, I see. and if you go deep, what you mentioned earlier, you are actually creating crevices. Now, as I'm going through here, and hopefully this is visible on the camera, you can see it is moving the grounds, mm -hmm. but largely the needles are just passing through. Yeah. Right. I'm going back and forth, and see how many times it takes to actually mm -hmm. do create, something bad. Yeah, yeah, create right? damage. Yeah. So, this is a really gentle tool because the cloud that's there is already okay. You still look pretty fluffy. Yeah. And that's what you want is a mm. fluffy cloud with no density. Right. Now, the technique is to hold the funnel and just do one light tap and then you yeah. lift. Okay. Okay. And when you lift, you look to see where could I do better? Yeah. Okay. And I could do a little bit better here. Yeah. And this is essentially about getting better at your craft. But mm. overall, it's pretty even except for this spot here. That's a little bit low. Right. Now you can totally at this point go back and go back okay. and stir it around. Okay. And then try and do better. Mm. So you tap again. And then I do one tap because okay. I've just fluffed it again. Right. Okay? okay. And that is pretty close to perfect now. Yeah. It's really even, really fluffy, no mm -hmm. granules. Looks yeah. great. Yeah. Now, at this point, you should use some sort of leveling tamper. I am not going to air tamp. You <laughs> absolutely want to be on a countertop so you're absolutely flat. Okay. So if you're not using a leveling tamper, well, mm -hmm. shame on you. You don't have to buy ours, but do get a leveling tamper because at this point, if you tilt, when you, mm -hmm. you're going to undo all this great work you've done. So if you tilt, basically the tamper fixes that, that mistake for you. Yes. Okay. But the tamper will not fix the grounds being uneven. Of course. And this is, well, you say of course, but a lot of people don't realize that. They take a mountain that's lopsided, yeah. and then they tamp it, yeah. and they think that, oh, it's flat oh, it's now. flat, okay, I see. But actually what's happened is the center is ultra dense, and the edge mm. is not. Now, yeah. here's how you can tell. This is a bottomless portafilter basket, and yeah. if I make an espresso now, yeah. if I had a mountain that I just squished, mm. the espresso would start from the outer ring, right. and then it would slowly make its way to the center. Mm. Now, most people's espresso look the, like that. Yeah, okay. okay. It's called a donut extraction. Okay. From the outside in. Now you don't want a donut extraction. Mm. If you do this right, the beginning of your espresso will start everywhere evenly. Huh. Okay. And then wow. it'll taste way better. Now, yeah. the reason that's important is an espresso is about 30 seconds long. Mm. And if it takes several seconds for the water to go here to here, mm. then actually this is going to be extracted five to 10 seconds longer than the center. Yeah. And then you get that 
Yeah, over so, extracted bitterness. That's right. The outside donut is over extracted, the inside is under extracted. Yeah. People then go, ooh, it doesn't taste right. So I'm gonna make a 22 second espresso. Yeah. So what they're actually doing is taking that entire dose of coffee and just making an espresso from the outside donut. Mm -hmm. And not using the center at all because right. it was too dense. Okay. These are all bad things. Yeah. So this puck rake, just to review, is helping you fix the distribution of grounds. Because the goal is to get a really even distribution. Yeah. And if you do that well, your espresso will be better. You know that you need this <laughs> if you have a bottomless porter filter and you see espresso start as donuts. If you have those donut extractions, you can make better espresso for a little money. <laughs> It's can really can it. you make it at home? Can you make it DIY? Can you So if you go online, it? you don't have to 3D print it. If you, you have go. a wine cork, then go online and buy yourself a set of acupuncture needles, 0.4 millimeters. And you can drill holes in there and arrange these however you want. Mm -hmm. It'll be super ugly, but it will actually be the same thing as this. You are welcome. You don't have to buy it. <laughs> you do not have to buy it. Or Make it yourself, yeah. and then if you like it, then buy something a little less yeah. ugly. That, yeah, looks nice. Yeah, but um, in fact, that is how we prototyped um, having this pattern here, as opposed to having four in a square, mm. this little diamond pattern. Yeah. yeah. And uh, well, try what you like. Now, I'll mention Wait. one other thing is, I'm really into repairability. Mm. Right? And I have told you how to make this. I've also told you how we make it. These are acupuncture needles. You can mm. buy these online. They're not expensive. So if you screw up and you smash this and you bend it, mm. you buy yourself new acupuncture needles and you just pull this right out. It's in a little plastic tube sleeve and mm. you can slide a new acupuncture needle in okay. and cut it off. So this thing should last forever. And if for some reason you do not realize the wisdom of my decision on 0.4 millimeters. For example, my <clears throat> obviously wrong engineer, Ben Champion, he swears <laughs> by 0.35 millimeters, but I'm the boss, so we made 0.4. Uh, if nice. for some reason you think he's right, don't tell me, but you can buy 0.35 millimeter acupuncture needles and put them in. Uh, don't tell me and I won't mind. All right, I want a coffee. You so, want a coffee. Let's All right. wrap this up. <laughs> okay, let us take this porta filter and we're going to make a coffee right now. 